tell me any time and I might come swing around by mine I'll tell you the same no way forget about her she wants to see too shy to talk to I don't really want to because I'm scared of what you might say doesn't mean that much to me and she knows it nobody's better than you I know because I told you so What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Liberty Law Lessons. This will be episode number 64. The song I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is a song from the intro, and that's called She Wants to See You Cry by Nature TV. This is not a requested song, but Nature TV is one of my favorite bands. They've been my favorite band actually since they were requested on this channel by Zan Z over a year ago now, I guess. I've been playing a lot of their songs, including this one, for some time, and I've really been wanting to make a video tutorial on it, and it's just taken me this long to get around to it. It was really hard for me to choose one song out of all their catalog to teach you guys but I wanted to do this one first because I think this is one of their first releases or first commercial release plus it's just a really really fun song to play there's some really cool chord shapes in here and then of course the lead lick is just really fun to play over it I had to stop myself from playing over the real track to make this video so I'll show you guys the acoustic part and we'll just start with the intro and move on to the verse chords and then the chords for the chorus and then we'll do the same thing with the electric guitar and I'll show you all the licks that are played over those really fun chords. Without further ado, let's go on and get into the lesson. All right, so let's get started talking about the rhythm chords, right? We're just gonna have this descending major seven shape for the intro. It's gonna sound like this. start on this E major 7 right here. I'm gonna have my middle finger on the 12th fret of the E string, index finger on the 11th fret of the A string, 13 and 13 on the D and G strings. And it'll sound like that. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna start on this F actually and go back to the E. So it'd be and I like to upstrum it. 
last one will go. All right, so that's all your rhythm chords for the intro. All right, so now we just learned the intro. Let's go on to the verse. And the verse is gonna start on the E major seven chord, but it's gonna be voiced like this. I'm gonna have my ring finger on the second fret of the A string, middle finger on the first fret of the G string, and I'm gonna put my index finger first fret of the D string here. And so it'll sound like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go So basically to do that slide, I'm gonna strum the E major seven, and then I'm gonna slide these two fingers up two frets and bar the second fret with my index finger. So it'll be. All right, so that's the first part of the verse. Then we go to this other section, which comes down here and it sounds like this. And so all that's going to be is E major seven again, and again another voicing up here to uh, F sharp dominant seven, and then back to the E major seven, and then back to the F sharp seven. Then we'll play this G sharp minor down to C sharp seven. All right, so that whole part again is gonna sound like this. Something you might notice is I like to slide between these chords right here. So what I like to do is keep my ring finger and pinky finger on the strings here and just slide everything up and just take my middle finger off, so. back into. All right, cool, so that's the chords for the verse. Now I'm gonna show you the chords for the chorus. All right, so now we just learned the chords for the verse. Now I'm gonna show you the chords for the chorus, and the chorus is gonna sound like this. So the first chord is going to be this B7, then the next chord is going to be this D sharp 7, and then what you'll notice is I'm going to keep my ring finger down on the A string this whole time, because I'm going to go to this G sharp minor 7, then down to the F sharp minor 7, and again you can still keep your ring finger down back to this E major 7 shape from the verse. We're gonna slide up to the F sharp seven like we did before, and then we'll hit that 13 on one of the strums. So it'll be like. And then we'll repeat that. All right, so now we learned all the rhythm chords. Let's move on and I'll show you guys all the licks on the electric guitar. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys all the lead licks on my electric guitar here. And we'll start like we did the acoustic section with the intro. The intro is just gonna start on the 14th fret of the G string here, and we're gonna stay on the G string the entire time. intro let's go on and move on to the verse all right so i think what i'm gonna do for this section is switch camera lenses and give you guys a closer look at the guitar and i'll just play each section with the tabs kind of slow i think that's the best way to do it instead of me trying to tell you guys all the notes you guys can just see up close what i'm playing and match it with the tabs so i'll just go lick by lick and you guys can put it all together
All right, so I just switched lenses and now I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys how to play all the lead licks. So I'll just play them in full speed and I'll put the tabs up and you guys can slow it down on YouTube if you need to. But this is how you play all the lead licks and I'll just play them in order. You guys can put it all together. So here's all the licks. So that's look number one. And then we have this other part right here that he likes to play in this live version that I found. And all that is, is... And then we'll have this look right here. All right, and we'll go. And that'll take us into this part. So then we'll go back into that main part, which we just learned. When we go to the chorus, we're gonna take this note and slide up to eight. So it'll be. And I'll go. So then that'll be the end of the first chorus. And for the second chorus, we'll just play that same part over again. So there's all your lead licks.